with Chicago, at Street Wide Street Scene, we always like to have a uh, guest that is in our magazines and also showcase and highlight vendors who are part of our organization. And my guest today is one and only Brother William Plowman. Will Plowman of the Street Wiseman. How are you doing, Will? Oh, not bad. Thanks for asking. Uh, yourself. You, you, you're part of the Street Wiseman. Now, of course, we know about Street Wise as the organization, but there's a group uh, called the Street Wiseman. And could you tell our viewers what is a Street Wiseman? Basically, we're kind of an avant garde kind of rock and roll band. Have like various, have like various types of hard rock that we do. Okay. And we basically met out in front of Smart Bar where I was selling Streetwise at the time. And I knew these bandmates for about How long? two years. About two years. Okay. Now and then we first started. We decided to start, you know, trying to put together a band. So you got the band name, the Streetwise, but of course you were selling Streetwise first. Now, where did you meet these guys, and how did you all decide? Okay, well let, let's let's start a band. Well, it's really it was kind of funny how the band part got started because it started out with me selling Streetwise in front of Metro and Smart Bar over there on Clark and Racine, and. I got to know these guys, and I got to showing them different things that I wrote, songs I wrote, other things I wrote, jokes, poems, etc. And by about 1998, we were, it was on a big weekend event, and we had like a big party that weekend at Brain's house, he's our bassist. Well, wait, before, before this event, did they... Used to see you out there while you were selling your streetwise, and yes, did they buy magazines? I mean, newspapers from you at the time. Yes, they actually. Some of them would buy newspapers. Some would bring me pop or coffee or whatnot. Mm. And probably the first one was somebody that actually worked at Smart Bar. That was the first one to actually start buying from me. Ironically, considering she already had a vendor of her own. Mm in the neighborhood she lived in, but she started buying from me, and then some more people started buying from me, and... And this is in the Wrigleyville area, right? Yes. At the Smart Bar Metro Cabaret. Now, now be before we move on with the Streetwise, I mean, I, you know, about you selling Streetwise, what, what brought you to Streetwise? You know, because I always say that a lot of vendors have, there's a story behind a, a lot of the vendors. What, what was your story, and what brought you to Streetwise to start selling Streetwise magazine? Well, it was certainly unexpected because when I moved up to Chicago, I didn't think I'd, you know, be needing to sell newspapers out in the streets. Right. But after leaving the Lighthouse for the Blind, where I was getting, I was in a training program, but I also got a paycheck. After no longer getting a paycheck, that really messed up my income, and now it's down to just SSI. So you say the Lighthouse for the Blind, but you are not... 100% blind, you're le what they consider legally blind. Yeah, legally okay. blind. But you can see. But yes, I can see. Okay. And I ended up having to choose between paying rent and eating, and that's what drove me to selling Streetwise, was because I knew if I wanted to remain in Chicago and be able to have three hots in a cot, and other things, I was going to have to sell streetwise. Now, did you find from being legally blind that people would discriminate against you when you would, you know, go out to try to find employment? Yes, and I think I learned more about it and understood it more as time progressed up here mm -hmm. as opposed to downstate. Okay. And, yeah, there are a lot of reasons. Sometimes they just you know, they don't like having somebody who's a little different in one way, shape, or form, or another, in the company. They may not like, you know, one of the things they don't like is, you know, there's the issue of liability, too. If something happens, you get hurt on the job, then you could come back and sue. But the big thing is they don't like to accessorize. Okay. Because to do that, you have to, if you can't, if I can't pay for it on my own, then I have to go through the state of Illinois 
if the uh, company itself doesn't want to pay to accessorize the job. And, and what you mean, make it, make it available for people with disabilities? Make it, like, as yeah, far make as it, yeah, like, accessible. Yeah, like, for example, yeah, make it accessible. Doors, for example, bathrooms. Well, things like, aside from those kind of things, also things like, you know, computers. Okay. Having to, uh, you know, if you're legally blind or totally blind, you're going to have to be able to have, like, a large screen or have software to zoom in and out or have talking software. All right, I understand. Now, uh, yeah. going through these different channels and getting the doors really closed in your face and really being discriminated against, you found some way to Streetwise, okay? And you found that you, you could come to Streetwise and automatically you would be accepted and you could start working. Okay, now, now one of the things, um, how I met you is in, in the Work Empowerment Center. We were just talking about the computer classes and how it helped a lot of people. Uh, you're one of the people I noticed in the computer room. In fact, you kind of like started showing me how to use computers. And at the first, when I first met you, I didn't really realize that you were legally blind, you know, because they were there using the computers. But one thing I, I knew that you didn't let nothing stop you. And your determination, which led you to Streetwise, led you into the Work at Palmer Center. How did the Work at Palmer Center help you as far as your self-esteem and help you with your, with the knowledge of, you know, of being Will Plowman? Well, it kind of brought me back to the road that I was trying to go down in the first place before I graduated high school. I really wanted a job where I would be working on a computer. And this kind of got me back into it again. And I got to learning how to use Microsoft Word and started working on writing again. And You got involved with the Streetwise Writers Group. And, and that's, yeah, the writer's group. And, and a group of people. And at the time, I really didn't know that you were writing lyrics. I didn't even know that you was what they call a underground rock star either. But you were writing poetry. But I knew that you had some good writing. And you had some um, a lot of emotion and a lot of expression. And, uh, and a lot of pain in, in your writing. Um, and the writer's group got started off. Uh, we did Not Your Mama's Bus Tour. And for those who I don't know what Not Your Mama's Bus Tour was, it was a tour that we took... Um, people in Chicago, we took them on a tour of the city, but we didn't take them to the tourist trap places. We took them to CS, we didn't take them to the CS Tower or the Merchandise Mart. We took them to places like where the 68 riots were held and early Maxwell Street, but what was so unique, when the audience got off the bus, a scene would happen out of nowhere, and Will Plowman played the uh, blind bus driver. Actually, <laughs> people would get on the bus, and we'd have Will sitting on the bus, behind the driver's seat with the bus already started up and as the audience are getting on they're walking by and they're seeing him and Will had at the time like four pair of glasses on he's up there reading the rules of the road uh, you know sitting in the driver's seat so people would get on the bus and they sit down and you can kind of hear people on, on undertone saying is that guy really the bus driver is he really the bus driver so we played this all the way to the to the last minute where we was getting ready to take off and we actually told him that Will wasn't really driving the bus and you can hear the whole <laughs> bus go like this uh, but you know, you also did perform. You, you performed um, some of your songs from um, the Street Wise Men um, on Not Your Mama's Bus Tour. So let's fast. Let's go to now. You selling papers in front of the Metro. Uh, you meet these guys, Brant, and other members. What are the other members? The original lineups of the Street Wise Men. Okay, we've well, we've changed members. A handful of times. It initially started out street, street, see what's your question or comment? with me and Brant and Vito Grisetta, who now lives in Florida. Mm -hmm. He's no longer in the band. Drummers, we've had quite a few of them. Um, Scott Conway, also known as Gub, okay. he's in the band, Joe Scott. And our current drummer, Ice, is, is a, his real name's Mike somebody or other. I don't know his last name, but we all call him Ice. Okay. He's right now... Not able to play with us because of a back injury. Okay, we, we got a caller. Well, hold, hold on one second. Um, we have a caller. Uh, caller, you on the air? Good afternoon, gentlemen. How you I'm doing? Welcome calling, to Street Wide Street Scene. I'm calling because I've seen quite a few vendors um, out in the downtown area in different power locations um, selling Streetwise. I don't actually know what Streetwise newspaper is. Can you please elaborate much more? For the viewers, so we know, instead of them getting a miscommunication and in the informant of thinking people are just trying to make a fast buck. Well, you know what is this? What what it is that newspaper is um, talking about? 
Okay, well, the this, this Streetwise is a magazine that is written by our in-house staff, and we do have volunteers, we have interns. There's a lot of different um, news topics uh, within the, in the magazine. Um, this week, um, that we're talking about Marshall Fields and the history of Marshall Fields. Uh, Obama on the record uh, on, on gay issues. We also have the Chicago Film Festival highlights. Uh, we talk about things around Chicago. I like to say Streetwise is straight to the point, doesn't beat around the bush, really uncut with an urban point of view. Next week we're talking about the high speed rail. But the, the magazine is one side, but empowering many women through employment is another side. Uh, people are able to come to Streetwise and generate legal income. And these are men and women who might not get opportunities elsewhere. Maybe their lack of education, physical or mental disability, criminal background. We give them a, an opportunity to empower themselves to employment. They buy the magazines for 75 cents and it sells on the streets for $2. Um, if you'd like to be a part of our organization, you can come, you can come on down to 1201 West Lake Street. I want to thank the caller for the call. We have another caller. Caller, you on the scene. Welcome to Streetwide Street Scene. Caller? Hello. How the hell are you? I'm doing fine. How are you? So we got Will Plowman. Will Plowman is with the Street Wiseman. Now you go from selling in front of the Metro to actually selling the Metro out, you know, and performing in the Metro before you are at that time when I saw you were opening up for Local H. But what are some of the other places that you guys have performed around the Chicago land area? Okay, we've performed in various, well, it started out actually at a private party, which is a barbecue at the house of somebody who is a friend of ours. We played in his bay window, which is very crowded for the number of people we had in the band. <laughs> it's kind of funny, we're only going to do two songs. Okay. It did Take the L to Hell and N-O-B-S, and then a few people were begging us to do Sweet Home Alabama, so we threw that one in. But then after that followed up with the very first public show. It was where? was at the Double Door, where we opened up for the Beer Nuts. Okay in 1999 for the Dead Man's Party, which was a Halloween show. Okay. We've also done Metro. We've played at the Mutiny, the Bottom Lounge, Sylvie's, Memories. And, and, and the Street Wiseman is what they would call like a novelty act. I mean, they, they get up, they dress up in different characters. Will has on his Viking hat and his uh, Superman cape on. And they, they really rock out. They do, they rock out. When I first went, I was surprised that, um, at how the audience was really into it. And it seemed like you guys have a, a serious following because a lot of people, was, you know, it was jamming to it. So you guys are considering really well known on the college circuit. Yeah, we even did we even did a few shows in Hammond for that matter and we hit big there too. Uh He's also done our, our streetwise picnic. Well, we had Will on the show so we could show men and women what our vendors do. They are, they do more than just sell magazines. We have a lot of talent, a lot of untapped talent. Uh, and we have a lot of uh, universal men and women in Streetwise. Will Plowman is one of them. Support the Streetwise men. Uh, if you hear him um, performing, go check him out. I, I bet you'll be really impressed. Uh, to find out more about Will and the Streetwise men, you can check us out on streetwise.org. Uh, if you'd like to be a part of our organization, 312-829-2526. Orientation every Monday and Wednesday. Well, we don't want to thank you for being on the show, man. All right, thank you for having you me. You guys rock out the Streetwise men in Chicago. You heard it here. On Streetwise Street.